Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there is a decision that you are... Some of you already made this decision. And maybe you're just still processing it or somebody else is having to process this decision that you have made um, that, you know, could affect you and them. However, it feels like a lot of you are still kind of wrapping your head around that decision, trying to figure out uh, maybe the best way or, you know, it doesn't even feel like you have to do that, Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you are pretty clear um, and not confused at all on what and why this decision is here. I just feel like some of you are... Um, if anything, kind of already starting to picture your life past this moment. Um, you know, so it's kind of like you're in the present, right? There's a decision that you're making. There's something that's coming to a balance, but uh, you can't help but wonder about your, the future, right? So uh, my head is spinning trying to make sense of this, but I feel like the page of wands is you're looking towards the future and you're like, man, everything's going to be different now right? You're starting to really visualize that. So we have Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Death card, which is Scorpio. Um, I feel like the death not only, you know, kind of confirms that there is something coming to an end and that a lot of what's going on with this decision is you putting a stop to something, specifically a cycle that no longer has a place in your life because it hasn't been serving you for quite some time now, but it also feels like you're putting an end to something that was causing harm. I feel like the Six of Swords is you are ready to move past this. You're ready to move forward. This is not a decision that is difficult to make because the cycle is ending. It's difficult to make because someone was pressuring your hand, right? It's like someone was putting a lot of pressure on you to make this choice. And not only are you ready to be free from all of that, but a part of you is also wanting relief. Right? You want that relief of knowing I'm no longer in the situation. I no longer have to deal with that. I no longer get the symptoms right, of being in that environment because it feels like it has affected you in, in like a whole mind body way. Right. So a lot of you are just like, man, I just I'm thinking about the future because I can't wait to be completely away from it. Right. Let's clarify the two of Pentacles. See what this decision was about or is about. Justice, yeah. Bringing justice, right? Bringing a balance into your life. There was a third party situation or some sort of um, lying or some sort of betrayal or infidelity here in the recent past. And a lot of you are beyond over it. It does seem though that somebody tried to make amends. They tried to make it right. That's what the justice is saying. Someone tried to win you over almost immediately after they made their mistake. And I feel like that's where you were like, okay, no way. Because now you're actually crazy, right? Like you looked at this person and you were like, no, it's not not happening, um, right? Something just didn't make sense. So we have justice, the moon, and the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. So the unknown um, was really that this person didn't really expect that you would be so clear on your choice to walk away from that. You know, it almost it almost feels like they could have been surprised, but I feel like the justice is you were very quick to make your your call, right? Your judgment call. I feel like Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Page of Cups confirms that not only did you um, go through something where it feels like this could have been prevented, but someone didn't do that, right? They didn't prevent what could have been prevented. They allowed it to happen. I feel like the Page of Cups was their effort in trying to make up for that. And then the Six of Pentacles is, or sorry, Four of Pentacles is you kind of being guarded, right? You, you protecting your energy and saying, nope, that's not going to work, right? That's not enough to make up for what you did. So I feel like your decision was very quick, but almost like their de decision or their um, act to try to save something was also very quick. So it feels like there was just this immediate back and forth of things going on, right? It doesn't feel like there was a cooling off period between you and this person, kind of like they didn't give you any other choice but to make a decision stat. For some of you, this could have been things that happened recently, like days ago, like two or three, right? Like very fresh. So a lot of you could still be processing that, right? That's why there's still this energy of the death card because you're still going through the whole aftermath of it all. But let's go ahead and clarify the death. Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like 
moving forward, there's going to be maybe an adjustment period, right? Where you may have to adjust to, um, I guess, the future, right? After this has happened. For some of you, it's more like you just have to um, not beat yourself up for not recognizing the signs. Because for some of, for some reason, this Two of Swords is a lot of you are beating yourself up because there have, it seems like there was a lot of red flags, right? There was, there was a lot of signs or tells that this was going on or that this person was just not, you know, kind of like someone you could trust. And I feel like you're taking that to yourself and, and beating yourself up for not seeing that. And I feel like the universe is wanting to completely remove you from that energy and say, Aquarius, you couldn't have known better, right? You couldn't have done anything. I feel like the Queen of Wands is that reminder to, to really give love to self, right? Especially if we are going through some sort of a rebirth where we are having to adjust from a situation that we've been through. Three of Wands, Nine of Swords. I feel like the universe is saying you can do this, right? And, and make it harder for yourself. And that Nine of Swords is that feeling of worry, not being able to sleep, kind of feeling like sick, right? Like making yourself feel sick. And then the Three of Wands is then moving forward, kind of like allowing yourself to, you know, see what's ahead of you. I feel like you are trying to make the decision, right? To move on and move forward. But I feel like there's always that, um, that hesitation sometimes, because maybe you feel to some degree like it was your fault. And I feel like the universe is wanting to let you know it wasn't, right? Like, let the universe, um, you know, confirm that for you, right? It's not your fault, whatever happened. Yeah, some of you are taking it um, to the heart, you know, kind of not taking it to the heart, but like putting the blame on yourself. And that's not, that's not okay, because this is not your fault, right? Like, whoever it is that you were dealing with, or whatever this is about, they had a choice too. Okay, let's clarify the Six of Swords. Ace of Wands. Yeah, perspective is everything. And here you are. You're, you're making that judgment call. I mean, you already made it. That's the thing. A lot of you have already gone, of, you've gone through the hardest part of this. So we have the Moon, which is Cancer, Eight of Swords, and the Judgment. Well, actually, yeah, Eight of Swords. I confused it with the Nine of Swords. Um, okay, so Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Hanged Man right after it. So there's that hesitation. There's that... It, you're aware of this. That's the thing, Aquarius. You're aware of this. You are pretty um, good at recognizing your feelings immediately. So a lot of you are like, yeah, I know I have to move on from this. I know I have to, you know, not think about it or not blame myself, but it's still hard, right? It's still difficult to, to move past it and do that. So I feel like your, your perspective is going to change with time, but that's really the only thing that has to change, right? It's kind of like the universe is saying you did the hardest part already, which was going through the motions of ending the situation. Now the only thing left for you to do is to change your perspective and that's it we have judgment which is basically the process right this is you realizing maybe reflecting i feel like the moon could also be that a lot of you are still kind of making sense of what was you know revealed right the truths that have come out after this situation right maybe the aftermath was the hardest part sometimes the aftermath of any difficult experience is the hardest because that's when we finally have the opportunity to look through everything and kind of realize oh that happened and then that explains why that happened and you know we start going into this black hole of trying to make sense of all of the events that occurred prior and the eight of swords is really that en energy of kind of being stuck in in that realm right kind of um keeping yourself captive to something that is over, but that we still need to make sense of because that is part of being human, right? We can't just move on from something and ignore that it happened. We have to make sense of it. We have to process, we have to understand it. We need to do that. That's why closure exists. So you're still trying to get closure from this, but the universe wants to make it very clear that there's a difference between processing something and blaming yourself for it. So with the moon card in the judgment, don't place the pressure of the unknown onto yourself because you may fall into the trap of thinking, well, what if that or what if this, right? Kind of like maybe I should have just waited it out or done that. I feel like the universe is like, don't do that, right? Don't fall into the trap of the unknown and don't let the judgment call be negative towards self, right? Let it be positive. Let it be nurturing. So 
Really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.